Alright, hello and welcome back. Last time we did see that the B classes are really relevant uh, compared to S classes in terms of DPS and they aren't useless at all. Uh, the B ranks are uh, really strong and when upgraded they can be a real threat to the S ranks in terms of DPS. Well, uh, this time we are going to be taking a look at the two S classes, uh, mainly physical damage, uh, both attack, attack class and one of them is Alpha, the famous Alpha, uh, pretty much everyone's favorite character in the game. And she is, at the moment, the character with the highest uh, physical DPS and highest burst in the game. Well, uh, this is the S Lee, and uh, I think he's called Lee Matrix, and he is the secondary physical DPS that we have. And overall, uh, both of them have their unique characteristics, and both of them have their unique playstyle. And of course, both of them uh, are really unique compared to one another. But in the sole purpose and the overall their sole, uh, sole core uh, is pretty much the same. They're both physical damage dealers and they're both uh, really good at dealing physical damage to enemies. Well, Alpha is, like I said, the highest burst and overall highest physical damage dealer in the game. Uh, pure physical attacker class and she is excellent at dealing uh, uh, damage to single enemies and of course to group of enemies uh, when you use Karina to scoop them up or you can use bee leaves uh, yellow skill to pretty much clump them up and by that by that said uh, she is also really fragile she cannot take hits at all well uh, here we see the layouts and the overall builds memories and weapons and well uh, it is easy to build her of course you can experiment with your own builds and I always, I always say and suggest that you can try out uh, the variety of builds that we have in the game and you can find out the build that works the best for you. And of course the lineups for the Pain Catch and Warzone we see the teams and she works the best with physical teams of course. You can uh, try a hybrid setup with a physical DPS and a elemental DPS with the appropriate support of course and well again you can pretty much use her in any line possible and she will still do a really good job well on the other hand we have Asli over here and he is also a attacker type 100% uh, physical and we see a slight difference in the graph down there uh, he, de he deals a little bit less damage but is overall really fun to play excellent at dealing damage to single enemies and of course he can do uh, damage to multiple enemies with the support of Believe's yellow skill or Karenina Scuti. And most of the most of the things that are for Alpha pretty much are valid for this character, since both of them are physical. As for the gear, as for the gear, well, the, these are the memories. Uh, keep in mind, this is a ranged physical. You can pretty much use the same gear on Alpha on this character. But again, you can experiment with the builds uh, that we have here. And in my case, I'll use the second build uh, on this screen because that's one that works for me the best. And overall, I am pretty satisfied with this character's performance. Uh, definitely really good and in the physical war zone, I pretty much use them both at the same time. Since they can help each other in combat since they're both physical. And as for the teams, uh, any lineup that can benefit physicals uh, is recommended and will work and these are just an example uh, like I said I use I usually use alpha and Lee combined with a sleeve as a support well then time I think it's time to uh, yeah time to hop in to see the stats well these are the stats uh, both are level 80 you can see the health and the attack stats over there I will put uh, I will pretty much put them side by side and uh, both are S ranks, didn't rank them up to the double S rank just yet. And well, let's see the stats for, for S Lee. Uh, will be really interesting to see how they look side by side. Okay, uh, and of course this is the equipment that I'm using. Well, uh, stats are pretty close, pretty close, level 80 again. Uh, also maxed out uh, to the yeah, highest rank, maxed out. And he's also only S rank, didn't rank him up, and pretty much uh, their unique skills. Okay, 
uh, you could see the gear for both of uh, structures that I'll be using. Uh, both will be using different gear, a gear that will benefit uh, mostly uh, the character that they're used on. And well, time to hop in the combat and see how they will perform. Now, Alpha is, like I said, a melee close range fighter. Uh, she will pretty much rely on uh, on your own skill, and the main problem with this character will be not to get hit, since she is really fragile, and she cannot afford to take hits. Uh, if you take hits, you sh you make sure to have a medic on your side, and use that medic to recover the lost health. So this is the main challenge uh, by playing this character. She is really fragile and couple hits and yeah, uh, she will die, especially it's hard since she is a close range fighter, you have to be really close to the enemies to deal damage to them, and well, crucial point will be when they attack to dodge, and when you, once you dodge you can actually use that dodge and increase your own damage a lot. Well, uh, her ultimate, this is the most famous ultimate in the game I think, the sword well, it's called Sword Ash, I think, and her main damage doesn't come from the ultimate. Her main damage comes from the Sword Dash, that's her burst attack. Highest burst and overall highest damage in the game, physical damage in the game. And up until recently, this character was uh, the most powerful character in the game, even outperforming elementals, and everyone was using her for all stages that we have, since she was just that much superior compared to everyone else at the time. But now things are more balanced and uh, now all characters are really unique and really useful in the game. Well, now the main combo with this character should be to target uh, 3 blue or 1 evasion plus 1 blue and any other 3 orb or any other 3 orb uh, plus evasion since that will spam the... that will give you the sword dash and with the sword dashes you can do 22,000 critical damage per, per slash and that's a lot of damage literally so that's how I uh, play the character, score 126,000 pretty nice, pretty nice well, let's hop in Liv and let's see how he will, how he will do now with this character the skills are uh, a little bit different and his main damage comes from the red skill and the ultimate. The thing with this character, you should go uh, to give the physical field, uh, pretty much the blue skill will give you increased physical damage combined with the ultimate. That way you will do most damage with this character. And that of course requires some practice, so you pretty much spam the skill and the spam the blue orb and then you can pretty much spam the ultimate and that way you will do most damage as I am doing right now and there we go his ultimate is pretty much a focused ultimate he can focus one enemy or can focus a lot of enemies once they are clumped up together and overall uh, his playstyle is a lot less risky as compared to alpha this character is a mid-range uh, mid-range mid-range fighter I was looking for a proper term but I guess mid-range is uh, the best one that's appropriate and uh, he will not have a lot of range once you go out of that mid-range um, you will definitely see no uh, no damage done to the enemies because he will not be able to hit them and that's the difference between the, the way of how you play and how both of those characters play this character is a lot a lot less risky, mostly because he is a ranged character, mid-range character, and that means he can forgive mistakes. In, in terms of uh, tankiness, this character is a bit more tanky than Alpha. He can take more hits and combine that with the ranged attacks. You will be definitely getting hit a lot less with this character than compared to Alpha mostly because, like I said, Alpha is a close range fighter and, well, if you're close range on the enemies, well, they will definitely hit you if you're not careful. Well, with this character, your main concern would be ranged enemies. And we have a 108,000 score points, again, slight difference, because Alpha does do a lot more physical damage than, uh, than Lee, and she has a good trade-off uh, in being a lot less uh, tanky, and she is a lot more vulnerable to attacks. 
a pretty, if I, if I can say, a really good, really good trade-off. Now, Lee can also do a lot of damage, but you will, uh, you will have to upgrade him, and you will have to pretty much fully affix the memories and go for the six-star weapon. Pretty much similar story for this character. It's just that this character will uh, still do a lot of damage, even with the five-star weapon fully affixed, and with her. S rank, she will still do a really good job uh, taking out the enemies without a without a problem. Well, uh, so far both of them are excellent at any stage that you throw at them. Both of them will be really good at the physical war zone, and both of them uh, will get high scores. And overall, the difficulty uh, people will definitely be having more fun playing Alpha, but people will be playing a lot more easier. Uh, with Lee because of the ranged attacks and because of the difference in playstyle. So, uh, both of these characters have their uh, tricks, their ultimates. Uh, I personally feel and personally see that Alpha's ultimate uh, does kind of a lot more damage, but uh, again, that trade-off is big, she will be really vulnerable to attacks, she cannot take hits at all, even as Bianca is a lot more tankier than Alpha. Alpha might very well be the least tanky character in the game. Surprisingly, I don't know how I don't know how that happened, but I guess it's a form of balance that we have in the game. Well, we are nearing the end of the stage. One more sword wave, and yep. Now with with Alpha, the sword wave will have uh, to be timed perfectly if you want to hit uh, a lot of enemies at once. And in my case, I happen. In, it happens to me a lot that I uh, usually miss a big portion of the enemies. So having Karen on your team and using her QTE definitely will uh, help you a lot with that card. And 113,000 points. Well, not bad, not bad. It could have been better, but it is alright. Okay, well, uh, let's see how Lee will do. I might have a better start with Lee here, but we will see how that will go. Now, with this character, the story is pretty much uh, similar. You should use Karina to pretty much increase your uh, to increase your damage and to clump up the enemies, pretty much to maximize your ultimate potential. And I, I am pretty much trying to do that, but it depends from the orbs, it depends from the situation. It's mostly situational. And the ultimate is ready. Uh, we'll see how he will do. Now, the fact that I can uh, do dual uh, dual orb is because of the memories, which are really good, really designed for that, and I like the way he is playing uh, with these memories. And well, that was interesting. Uh, that was really interesting. As you could see, his ultimate has the potential to take out a lot more enemies. His ultimate is actually a lot more controllable than the ultimate from Alpha. Uh, you can see that by uh, being able to move the ultimate left, left or right. Now, I feel like his ultimate should be buffed a little bit, because it lasts too short, but it does a good job, it, it really does a good job. And with the, pr with the proper combination and right timing, this character can be really lethal, and overall uh, can be really good, and it probably is really good. Okay, let's see what will happen. Well, now, like I said, his red skill is what I personally like a lot. Combined, the red skill combined with the blue orb will definitely give you a really nice damage boost. And, well, uh, I am spamming the blue plus ultimate. It works, and we reached floor number 4. And that's, this will be around 98,000 points, which is pretty, pretty okay. And it is to be expected uh, from this character. Well, 93,000 points, that was pretty good. Okay, well, on to the bosses. Let's see how the bosses will uh, how the bosses will work. Now, Alpha, like I said, uh, crucial, it is really crucial to time your, uh, time your evasions and time your attack with Alpha. Uh, it is really sometimes difficult to uh, see what's going on in the game because the effects are so beautiful, but, well, I will manage. <laughs> uh, even in boss battles, uh, you will have to be really careful what you're doing. You could see me losing half my health there in a blink of an eye. So pretty much it is the uh, same principle and same rules apply to Alpha. 
you have to be careful on what you're doing. Uh, mistakes she will not forgive, pretty much. Alpha is one of those characters that is uh, really unforgiving, but at the same time she will do a lot of damage and is pretty much the most powerful physical in the game. And well, let's see how I will manage with this boss. This is Dark Kamoi, by the way. I don't know what difficulty, I think it is the mi uh, the middle difficulty. Yeah, it is the middle difficulty. And nice evasion with the with Aslif. And this is why I usually uh, bring medics on my team. Because medics usually recover health really quickly. Aslif being the best medic so far, uh, healing wise. While Belief is pretty much excellent at DPS, which is really funny. And there we go. He got he got defeated, destroyed, and Alpha is victorious as usual. Now you might be wondering uh, why am I using different gear for both these characters? Well, it is mostly because uh, the gear that I have on Alpha at the moment benefits most Alpha, and the gear that I have on uh, on Esli pretty much mostly benefits Esli, and that's that way they both will have uh, maximum possible damage and both of them uh, are working the best. Now, I could use Alpha's gear on this character, but his damage would be lower, and overall his performance would be uh, quite quite a bit lower. And I could do the same with Alpha, and her also, her, her damage will also fall off quite significantly, so I am pretty much using the gear that's best for both of these characters at the same time. Well, you could see Lee taking some hits, uh, he is a lot more tankier as you could see there, and uh, he does take hits, surprisingly he can take hits, and let me just pop my combo, there we go, now I can flatten him with the ultimate, really really interesting ultimate, I really like his ultimate, uh, it could be a bit, uh, a bit better, uh, but it's okay as it is at the moment. Okay, and... Uh, one also one really important thing, the evasions and the, their evasion animations for both of these characters is also really kind of different. Alpha has a uh, really quick evasion that requires uh, good timing and it really requires the second accuracy that uh, we have in the game. This evasion is close to that, it feels slightly slower than Alpha's, uh, the animation is kind of slightly longer. So you will have to uh, slightly look in the future when you're evasion with him, or that pretty much means you will have to expect the attack from the enemy to evade it uh, on time. Now with Alpha, uh, she, her evasion is also really quick. It relies on skill mostly, since even a split second mistake can be crucial and can be felt. With Lee, uh, it is almost similar, like I said his animation feels um, slightly longer and he will evade uh, slightly slower, so you keep that in mind when you uh, when you play both these characters, you will have to evade a split second faster than uh, on Alpha. And well, uh, let's see how I'll defeat uh, Rosetta here, I'm doing a good job so far. And you could see me missing the, instead of tapping the blue, I tapped on the yellow, by accident, it happens. Well. Uh, Rosetta is doing a good job at taking me out, honestly, uh, but health is back up, that's good. Uh, shield plus health is back up, which is really important. And now I have to switch, I don't want to get zapped by Rosetta. Okay. And with Alpha you will have to uh, sometimes switch. I recommend that once you run out of evasion on Alpha that you switch the character out, because you need that evasion for her to be alive, since if you miss the evasion you will you risk uh, taking a lot of damage. So you have to be more careful. We have to be more careful, pretty much. I still have to practice a lot uh, my, evasions, my, my evasions with this character, because even I sometimes mess up with this character a lot. Mostly uh, when I switch to 60 and 120 frames per second since I like my frame rate and the, the overall the overall characters feel a lot different on 60 and 120 frames per second. Alpha feels a lot more snappier on 120 than on 60 and other characters on 120 feel uh, slower which I find uh, really interesting that the frame rate affects the overall animations and the feel of the characters which which is why I get hit mostly, because I switch from 
120 to 60 uh, when needed because that's uh, how I pretty much roll. It depends. When I record, uh, I record in 60 and that's why I match the um, I match the frame rate to be 60. But when I play, uh, when, I, when I play without recording, I play at 120. And that's the... There comes the big difference between the overall feel on how they work. Well, uh, as for Lee over here, uh, we see that uh, he is... His survivability and overall uh, tankiness and playstyle makes me being hit a lot less. And uh, he being tanky and not relying on the evasion so much makes me live longer and, well, makes me stay on the field a lot longer. Which is really interesting and uh, really important for uh, a variety of reasons. Mostly sometimes you just don't want to switch and sometimes you have a challenge that you have to use one character only. And this character is perfect for that since he does give the, he does give the damage and he does survive being hit and overall isn't so difficult to play and of course is ranged and ranged characters are overall easier to play because of the rage advantage over the physicals over the melee sorry or over, over the melee characters well uh, that was played mostly without switching really interesting and i am really happy and satisfied at how he was performing at um, at rosetta really interesting result and now my famous and my personal favorite nightmare ball. This ball, this boss is quite unpredict quite unpredictable, quite crazy, and it definitely will require a lot of uh, skill and a lot of practice to complete in a perfect run. Now using alpha on this boss is pretty pretty difficult uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, one of them being uh, she is really fragile and this boss does a lot of damage and split second mistakes for alpha here can be fatal so when you're fighting the night nightmare ball you will definitely have to be uh, playing a lot more seriously with alpha than with Ashley, mostly because of their differences uh, in playstyle and of course the difference in tankiness and this is why i love alpha because it actually makes me learn the game more and because of alpha i am actually really good at the game so far now of course i do mess up uh, i do make mistakes we all do M i make mistakes mostly because of the difference in frame rate sometimes like i said i play in 60 sometimes in 120 at the moment i play in 60. Uh, i think i think i played the war zone in 120 i'm not quite sure i kind of forgot how that rolled but uh, now i'm playing 60 and yep there we go uh, the ball has been defeated quite in a really decent time frame and without much of a problem. It was really fun. Like I said, this boss is really fun to play when once you master his moves. Well, as Lee, on the other hand, time to see how he will perform against this boss. And he does do a big amount of damage to this boss and overall uh, is dealing pretty much the same damage as Alpha at the very moment, which is really interesting. Well. Let's wait for the ball to come down again, since the ball jumped up and is torturing me with the lasers, since that's what the that's what the nightmare ball is doing. Okay, let's see where is the ball still floating. Well, he he's about to come down. There we go. Well, uh, and and of course both of these lineups work quite well for this uh, for both of these characters, which I like a lot. And the ultimate is ready, uh, and of course the ball decides to float, and I miss with my ultimate. It happens. This is pretty much my personal fault for missing uh, for missing the ultimate. I should have been more patient, and well, should should have waited for the ball to come down. So well, it's okay. But with Alpha, which is really interesting, uh, Alpha kind of freezes the time when she does her ultimate. That way, she will not miss when she is doing her ultimate. Lee on the other hand doesn't freeze the time and pretty much uh, does fight in real time and that's why I missed <laughs> back then which was really which was really funny but it's okay. Well, uh, seven health bars left on the ball, uh, the ball is kicking the bucket slowly, it is getting scrapped as expected and I'm pretty satisfied with the time that I took in that it took me to destroy the ball with this character, a really good character and Overall, the easiness and uh, how much damage he's doing, I think, is pretty rewarding, is pretty easy overall. 
and I am mostly happy at uh, mostly happy at his performance. Well, uh, time to wrap things up here a little bit. Both of these characters are excellent at their roles, excellent at uh, pretty much being a physical DPS, and excellent at dealing a lot of damage. One of those characters, one of one of them, is a bit more difficult to play, and that is Alpha. While Ashley is easy to play, and he still does a lot, uh, he still does a lot damage, and overall is uh, a lot less uh, forgi- uh, He is uh, a lot less unforgiving compared to Alpha. Alpha will not forgive uh, mistakes in terms of you get hit, she will potentially die really soon. So uh, if you don't have a healer on your side, of course. So mistakes with Alpha are not. The margin of error on Alpha is not so uh, not so big because little mistakes can be really crucial, and only you can make mistakes, uh, but not too many mistakes. Of course, don't get me wrong. He is a DPS and as a DPS, he will not be able to take a lot of damage, but he can take a quite substantial amount of damage before dying. And for both of these characters, I recommend that you have a healer on your side uh, because healers can give you besides besides the obvious besides the healing. They can give you uh, important buffs that are uh, really important when you play. And both of these characters are also excellent at mob clearing, as you can see here. Um, this is the level 80 challenge. Pretty much uh, I play this on S ranks only, because this is the ultimate stress test for S ranks, besides the, besides the bosses. This is also a really important stress test, this and the one that will come after. And this is where I pretty much uh, test out the raw performance of the characters. And so far both of them are doing a really good job at uh, being a DPS. And you can really be creative with the builds in the game. Now, I pretty much built the characters to, uh, to work for me best, because I ha we all have different playstyles. And all of us have different um, different approaches to how we want to make a DPS. And in my case, uh, this both of these characters, as you can see, do approximately the same amount of damage. Now, of course, the slight difference in damage uh, is why Alpha is doing uh, slightly a bit more, mostly because of her effects and of her skills, she, since she is doing a lot more damage, she is the highest physical damage dealer in the game at the moment. Lee, at the other hand, is on the second place, and he is still doing a lot of damage, and is a really powerful character uh, that is really useful, and people uh, should use both of them at the same time, pretty much, since that way you will maximize your damage, and that way you will have two DPSs on your team. So when you switch one DPS out, you have the other DPS to back him up. And being them being so close uh, in terms of performance is also the reason why I uh, use them in the same team sometimes. You could see me using them uh, the, in the upcoming weekly Warzone. I think I'll be using both of them at the same time. Because when I switch one DPS out, I want the DPS to keep on going. And that's why I will have the other DPS on the field pretty much doing DPS, right? And here, uh, this is the second stage, a bit more difficult, because we have ranged and melee at the same time. And, well, you could see me getting hit with Alpha, and she almost kicked the back in there because of my, my mistakes. I unfortunately did get hit for... Um, unfortunately happens. And let's see... You usually spam the sword dashes, which is uh, her main attack, and... Let's see the ultimate, doing damage, there we go. Her ultimate combined with the sword dash is definitely a really fun combination and really pleasant to the, to the eye, especially once you bump up the graphics since I play on maximum settings and this game is really pretty on maximum settings, really pretty. And I got hit, but thankfully I had the shield which saved me from taking damage, which is why I use Asleaf. Gives you shield and gives you health when, once needed. And well, uh, one more left, and then we will jump, hop on Asli, and we will see how he will uh, deal with this stage. Pretty much I expect similar, uh, similar performance, similar uh, overall experience. And we have the ultimate, and let's cut him to pieces, there we go, nice. 
Well, uh, and time to hop on, uh, time to hop this stage with V and to see how he will, how he will perform in this stage. Now, keep in mind, this will be a lot easier with V because of the ranged attacks. I can just sit at a decent distance from these close range uh, samurais and, well, I will just not get hit that often because I will be mostly at a distance from the main enemies. Now you will see me getting close to them just because I, well, I don't want to flex being good but I just, I know how to play the game really good so far. And um, the same tactic also applies with Lee. Once you run out of evasion, uh, switch out to the next character and wait for the evasion on Lee to build up. And then once the cooldown completes, just switch him in and well, you can continue where you left off uh, with, the, with the fighting. Okay, now here I made a little mistake. I should have went with the blue orb and then with the ultimate, but it happens. Uh, I will do. I'll just do this little combination with the red skill, and I still do. Still does a lot of damage. Still does a lot of damage. Well, I think. Oh well, uh, the two, sub, the three samurais are left. Okay, the ranged ones died uh, really quickly, which was really interesting. Okay, well. Uh, one, well, two more left, I think, one more died. Okay, I have the ultimate, I have the blue field, I will do extra damage because of the buff. And they got flattened, interesting. And yellow, then yellow, and then blue, and we have that boost. Okay, now we have the red, and let me shred him to pieces with the red. There we go, then yellow, then let's see... Well, then yellow, then blue. And stage has been cleared. Well, uh, this would be it for this little comparison. It was really fun for me to do this. I hope that this was helpful. Like I said, both of these characters are excellent. Um, aesthetically speaking, both of them, well, I mean, I mean, we, can, we can't compare them aesthetically since, well, they are quite unique, right? And... Well, with that being said, uh, I hope this was helpful, it was a pleasure to play this for you, and well, when I return next time, uh, we will continue with the testing, and of course, we will have a couple new structures to play around with. And well, uh, I love you, and as always, I will see you next time. Take care.